What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can record the time after the second barcode is entered. I was working with a gentleman this year, this week, and he had he wanted to track not only the part numbers and the employees, but he wanted to track how long each employee was working on a particular part number. And so in the A column, I have uh, a space for the part number to be scanned. And in the B column, I have a spot for the employee ID to be scanned. And so let's put in, um, let's go 111 as my part number and and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put in BBB as, a, as the employee name. And now I'm going to press enter. And so now you have, you have here that for the part 111, BBB started working on it at this time. Now, so if we put in 111 again, and then we, then we go, um, Then we go, uh, let's say, um, CCC. Then it will be a new line. But once again, if we go 111 and then we go BBBB, it's going to be uh, giving you the time, it was the time that they started and the time that they're finished. So we'll do that again. And then we'll go four Bs. And there you go. So there now they can track how long each of these individuals were working on this one part. And so now let me show you what the code is. It's a little different than um, the last one. So I'm going to right click and go view code so you can see the code for the sheet. And so um, so the private sub on worksheet change. So the worksheet change is selected from the top here. And then value target as range, if not intersect, target me range. And the range is A2 and B2. So, um, so if that's nothing, then, then you call access. And access is my program that I run to do this. Application enable events true. And then I end if and then the end sub. So now let me show you what the access looks like. And so now in for the access, um, I declare barcode is a string, range is a range, RNG is a range, row number is long. Now active sheet select. So by, by default, I always go and select this one. And then if this cell is not, uh, is not empty, so if there's anything in this, then the active it's going to select the next cell here. Now, what it's saying here is that if active cells 2, 1, which is A, um, A2 and B2 aren't empty, then the barcode equals this cell. And then I've got an ampersand, and then I've got a dash in between there just because it's nice to have the two of them separate. And then I have another, uh, another ampersand, and I have active cell 2. So I'm adding the cells from A a and B. And then first of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to now, now I've declared that as my barcode. And if the barcode, as long as there's a barcode, then it's going to search the range. And um, it's trying to find this barcode from previously. And if it's not there, then what it's going to do is it's going to find the first um, empty cell. And then it's going to select and it's going to put the date and time. And this is the date and time format. Now, when it's done all that, it's going to clear my uh, my A A two, and it's going to clear my uh, B two, and I also have it clearing C two because because that's where I'm putting the barcode in between when I'm setting it up. Now, if it does find the range, so if it does find the barcode there, the active cell, the, the range number, wherever it finds the range number, is the range is is the the range where it finds the barcode is the row number. And now what we do is we go active cells, row numbers, select row number, find the first blank. So it's going right across. 
it's going across here and finding a blank space here. And then when it finds a blank space, it's putting the date and time in. And it's putting the date and time in this format. And once more, I am going to delete the, the A2 and the B2 and the C2 just so that it's blank for me to start over again. And then I'm going back and I'm selecting active cell A, um, A2 select. So now it goes, goes back. So now it goes back and it selects me for me to put the part number in again. So that is how you can track time for employees working on individual parts in your warehouse or shop. Please subscribe.